Hey everyone, Pastor George here with today's Bible study recap and today we are doing chapters 16 and 17 of the book of Job and in these chapters is Job's response to his friend Elphaz who we read last week. Now you'll remember Elphaz, his whole thing was painting a picture of a wicked man and that wicked man is Job. And so Job uh, begins and spends a large part of this chapter refuting what Eliphaz's portrait of him is, right? So Eliphaz painted the picture of a guy who was was fat and, 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 and didn't care about what God had to say because he's just living opulently, right? And Job points out that he's malnourished, right? This doesn't look like him. And then he, and then Eliphaz talks about how you can't trust uh, any of the council, even the holy ones in heaven. Um, and Job says, well, you know, I, yeah, yes, because they're the ones who at least see things that are going on, at least they'll kind of be able to answer. Um, and one of the things that's interesting is Job starts in this chapter by appealing to one of the holy ones, so one of the angels. But by chapter 19, he's appealing directly to God, which is interesting because it shows that Job grows in faith as he moves on throughout this book. Usually when we view this, we just see a bunch of questioning and um, Job like attacking concepts and stuff like that. But really what it is, is Job wrestling out his faith, right? Reasoning out with his friends what's what's going on here, right? And um, and so I think that this is something that is really important to, uh, to understand, which is that questioning, seeking answers isn't a bad thing. Uh, it's actually a very good thing. Uh, and, and this is kind of the point of the book of Job is that doing so actually grows grow faith because you're, you're challenging um, and you're learning more about God's justice and eventually God answers himself, right? Um, so Job spends a large part of this chapter just attacking what his friend, the, the picture that his friend had painted of him. Um, and then he, he moves to talking to God, he talks about how he's full of grief and pain, things like that. And he points out that his friends aren't very good comforters, right? They, they try to make night into day by just telling them to repent. And the idea there is that they're, they think that they know better and that they think they know justice and they know God. But in reality, they're trying to do the impossible, right? They're trying, they, they think, for at least for humans, right? They're trying to make night into day, which you can't do. Night is night, day is day. You can't have one or the other. So that's his point there. And then... Interestingly enough, at the very end, we have, I think, a pretty big challenge to the way people really view Job. So a lot of people view Job as like suicidal or wanting to die. And the interesting thing about that is that's not really true. So Job will sometimes say things like, it would be better for me to just not have been born, or it would be better for me to be in the ground. But that's not where Job's hope is, right? He doesn't want to die. Uh, necessarily what he wants is justice so at the end right he in the end when he's he's going on this little tangent about like you know if I make my hope in the grave or in Sheol right if I call if I call like the worms my mother and my sister where's my hope then and all that is to say is that death as a solution to his current suffering is not what he wants <laughs> what he wants is justice right because jo Job has a very strong view of God sovereignty and his justice that he's going to make things right and so job makes a big deal of that when he calls to his uh, friends here and says hey i need you need to i need to make this right or you need to make this right right um god needs to make this right and so that's where job's hope is job's hope is actually in god and in God's ability to mete out justice, but it doesn't seem that way. But that'll become more clear once we get a little further on, because just in two chapters, we're going to see Job have a pretty big statement of, of faith. So uh, that's what we talked about today. I'll see you guys next week for, uh, or tomorrow for our, our theologue, and then uh, next week for our Bible study. Um, so have a wonderful rest of your Wednesday, and peace out.